I'm here in the uh, Fayetteville City Cemetery. Now, the city of Fayetteville is west five or six miles from Jonesboro. Uh, it is connected to Margaret Mitchell's family and the Gone with the Wind story. Here in this section of the cemetery, of course, nearby is R.K. Holiday, Robert Kennedy Holiday. Recognize Mr. Kennedy from Gone with the Wind. R.K. Holiday, a businessman in Jonesboro whose business office still stands, was the man who walked home to Tara after the war. No one knew he was still alive. He was captured up near Gettysburg as a quartermaster part of Longstreet's Corps. And uh, he walks home to the old Fitzgerald house, the house that Margaret Mitchell said was her Tara in Gone with the Wind. Over nearby is a lone headstone, a small one, with an interesting uh, uh, engraving on the stone. It simply says, Grace, colored servant of the Fitzgeralds. According to local lore, and I'll be the first to admit when I can't find uh, any information, there's very little information that I can document, but they say that Grace was turned out or let go or, or sent away because she was too old to stay with a family who owned her prior to the Civil War, and that Mr. Fitzgerald fought her, brought her in, and she lived as part of their family. And upon their death and her death, she was allowed, she asked and was allowed, to be buried at the feet of the Fitzgeralds uh, in thanks for taking care of her. I don't know all of the story, if it's true or not. It makes a good story. But some say, in Grace, we find a lot of the story of Hattie McDaniel's character, Mandy, in Gone with the Wind. Either way, what I like to say is, there's just enough there to help us see once again that the stories ring true, the stories in Gone with the Wind, as we drive, as uh, Wilbur Kurtz said, that old Red Earth Trail from Jonesboro to Fayetteville. I'm Peter Bond.